we are here uh, on the Flat Stock Poster Convention in uh, Austin at the South by Southwest. So with me is Dan McAdam um, from Crosshair. He's doing great uh, poster art and he's one of the regular uh, participants of the European edition of Flat Stock. Could you firstly tell me a little bit about the US edition of all of our Flatstock events worldwide. This one in Austin at the South by Southwest Music Festival is the largest. I think we have 130 tables uh, representing somewhere around 100 artists. So that's roughly uh, it's it's about three times the size of the of the Flatstock in Hamburg. Um, however, this is a it's a different, a very sort of different sort of venue than uh, than what we have uh, in in Hamburg because this is in a convention center. The one in Hamburg is right on the Raperbahn, which is sort of the main, the main tourist drag of, uh, of the whole city. And so you don't just get music festival participants coming through. You get, you know, St. Pauli punks and, and, you know, old people holding hands. And, and they're all sort of engaging on, a, on an equal level in, in poster art. Could you tell me a little bit about the meaning of poster art? I mean, the history behind it. Well, you know, initially... Um, it's always advertising a product or something. Uh, rock posters, uh, I think a lot of people look to the, you know, the Fillmore scene in the 60s as being um, the birth of what we, what we presently have. But um, by the same token, you know, Xerox punk flyers in the 80s uh, have a, a direct legacy to what's happening here. But the current explosion in handcrafted, you know, largely screen printed uh, poster art really... Um, started to gain steam with with the the first flat stock which was uh, not this one but this this was the second which was around 2003 i believe and we started doing flat stock in hamburg in 2007 um and the development of that one has has been very much in parallel with this because at the first american flat stock the audience really didn't know very much about this art form they didn't know what it was um but with with repetition and with putting this art in front of the public again and again um, in a situation you know, like here where there's a music festival and also like you know in, in, in Hamburg uh, people have become more familiar and you really start to see a sort of a snowball effect in terms of you know their, their level of attention and this has very much been true uh, in Europe too the uh, maybe a few years behind its rate in the States but um, with these larger groupings of artists um, working together to present their art together, uh, you're really seeing a great deal of growth in, in, the, uh, in the audience. And very shortly, if you could address a short message to the, to the consumers, to the fans uh, of poster art in, in Germany, why should they come to the Rupert Festival and Flatstock Europe in 2013, end of September? Well, I can only say that it's the highlight of my year, you know, I... I, I wouldn't miss it, and I have to get on an airplane to go. So if I'm willing to do that, you know, all you need to do is, is hop on the train or get in your car or, or walk. There's no reason not to go.